Well, 2014 was certainly the year of the re-release for next-gen consoles, wasn't it? Being the sucker that I am, well, that's how I was going gaming cold turkey. I played and finished both Tomb Raider and Sleeping Dogs all over again in their definitive editions. But what better way to round up the year with the jewel in the crown of re-releases? Halo The Master Chief Collection. Halo The Master Chief Collection is essentially Halo 2 Anniversary with 1, 3 and 4 added on as Halo 3 and 4 probably won't look all that much better on Xbox One in all honesty. But it amasses all of the Halo games starring Master Chief to this point. So thankfully no ODST, but sadly no Reach. Now I'm not going to be reviewing the actual Halo games individually, as if you've not played a Halo game before, what the hell are you doing with an Xbox? But Halo 2 is what the focus is here, and it looks really, really nice. It's not quite 1080p and 60 frames per second, due to the fact there's technically two games running at once, the original and the remake. Also, it's a shame they couldn't include that amazing E3 2004 level. Yes, I know it was a tech demo. I know! Halo 1 Anniversary has been upgraded to 1080p and 60 foots, as well as a few extra lighting and rendering improvements, and now also lets you switch between the original and the remake instantly, whereas the original had a second or two delay. Halo 3 and 4 are also 1080p and 60 foots, but there's no upgrading of the visuals like I said earlier. Halo 3, in all honesty, is starting to look a bit ropey by today's standards. But Halo 4 still looks really pretty. In all fairness, Microsoft should have delayed it for a year, tweaked it a bit, and released it as a launch title for the Xbox One. But the icing on the cake is the multiplayer. Anyone who has ever enjoyed any of the Halo games competitively will absolutely adore the chance to play all four Halos again. Unfortunately, I can't review this segment as the servers aren't available as of this review. So here's some footage of me wandering around Zanzibar on my own. On the plus side, it looks like they finally found Ling Ling's head after all these years. The controls can also feel a bit clunky. Using the right thumbstick to zoom down reticles and the reposition of the black and white buttons, remember them, in successive generations of Xboxes made the controls feel pretty weird by today's standards. But luckily you could switch them around as you see fit. But for a lot of gamers who jumped on the Halo bandwagon during its Xbox 360 years and can't be bothered to raid car boot sales or eBay for an original Xbox from the previous entries, this is an absolutely essential purchase. And a decade has passed that most of you have forgotten about what happens in Halo 2, so it's definitely worth brushing up on again. But as with all Halos, you'll come for the campaign, but stay for the multiplayer. And with this amount of content, it's one hell of a stay. That and there's fuck all else to play this Christmas. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button below and be first to see future gaming videos and reviews such as this. And why not check out some of my other recent reviews below? But thanks for watching, peoples!